So, Batman Attack the Comics Faces of Death. This one is basically two stories that kind of slightly link to each other. Basically, one of those things where you find out in the first story that these people work with this villain, and you know, and then we led up to the second story. But Faces of Death is dealing with the Dollmaker. You know, Jugger has been captured. He and he's in Arkham, and like, like twenty minutes in of him being locked up in Arkham, someone. With a knife, cut Joker's face and plastered it onto an, onto the wall. Like we're now on that, and Joker's but and Joker's gone. So logically, Batman and Gordon are like, what the what the hell just happened? I mean, we know it's a Joker, so anything anything's happened. But he, but we have never seen a guy's face getting cut off and plastered on a wall. So who 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 was the cutter? Who was the guy who was going who cut Joker's face? And spoiler alert, it is Dollmaker. Now the Dollmaker in this, like the Dollmaker, you can kind of go two ways. You can, I mean, he kind of falls into the whole thing of I'm going to make up uh, art towards you. I'm going to make things perfect, um, the, my perfect image of you, and all that kind of stuff of what I think a human being should be. But the doll maker kind of falls, can fall into the creepy side to like he's very disturbing like attitude wise of things and him being very polite like you know him just basically being your nervous normal surgeon who kills people and slice and makes weird things because but in this one he has a weird design it's a weird weird design of the, of the doll maker to the point this is a body horror story and the whining is very catchy it, it loses it, it it's very quick with it and very very sharp type whiting uh, very feels like whole detective of war kind of feel of things uh, with batman's uh, narration and stuff the art is fantastic but god i mean it, it's a it's a page turner dealing with dollmaker is a page turner and you're like this guy is a sick in the head. And it's Gotham, so there's a lot of people who are sick in the head, but Dollmaker is very disturbing, as most of Gotham, but still. Now we're on to the second story, which I will say, the second story with the penguin is is fine. It's it's still good, it's still great. Um, but it's not as good, um, as great as the other stuff. Um The Penguin story is basically um, someone who is dressed up as a Joker because there's a, a Joker fan club marching onto the com onto GCPD's like um, footpath and say, "A list to Joker, yo, know, he's you know, you know, Batman needs to be punished and all that." And and this person dresses a Joker kills a bunch of these people and Batman's trying to find out who this person is and of course Batman thinks it's this guy called Snakeskin who's able to change his face. He's not Clayface but he's able to basically miss an impossible it. Um, but that okay that one you know that penguin story is neat and they update because it was the new 52 they update a little bit like except being a nightclub you know the iceberg lounge being a nightclub they make it into the the iceberg casino that is also a motel and a hotel and all that and you know if it has nice little update and penguin it has very good you know penguin feels like penguin and stuff it's not as great as as I said with the Dollmaker story, how twisted that one was. Um, but yeah, I can, I quite enjoy it. If you ever see pick up um, Detective Comics Volume One of the New Fifty Two Faces of Death, pick it up. You get two pretty good stories, really.